It is the holiday season, the time where we should all be very thankful and very giving. And I'm very thankful for all of the support that all of you have given me for the past almost two years now, year and a half. And thus I bring to you as your gift, well, one of your gifts, because I have a lot of videos planned for November and December. This is going to be a big cornerstone icons of the Dragon Ball community phase four, where I interview the best and brightest people in the Dragon Ball community who have contributed in a positive way. So who is on the docket for Icons Phase 4? We've got a variety of different, extremely talented people. In fact, the thing about Icons Phase 4 is that these are people who do work that I don't even know how to do. These people have honed their craft for many, many years, and I consider them very important cornerstones of our community. First up, it all begins November the 18th, every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. November the 18th, I will be joined by one of the first Dragon Ball YouTubers ever. I'm talking about she predates almost anybody except maybe SS4 Goshen and Vegito1089, Miss DBZ Babe will be joining us to talk about her massive Dragon Ball collection, her massive love for Vegeta, and of course she is a very, very well-known animator and cartoonist. We'll tell the story of a young Greek girl discovering Dragon Ball and falling in love with it. This is followed up November 25th, a man who needs no introduction, especially in the past couple of years. You know him if you've looked up any information on Dragon Ball Super, if you've watched enough of my videos. His name is Jake. He goes by Herms, November 25th. This is going to be a crazy interview. Herms tells us about his insane adventures going to Japan, climbing Mount Fuji, going to this weird place where people kill themselves, and a forest that may or may not have bears. This is the wackiest interview I've ever done, and also the longest interview I've ever done. And we also find out how Herms got into not just Dragon Ball, but also manga, anime, as well as how he learned to translate. You're going to love this one. I, I was so, we had so much fun doing this, and it's you really get a peek into who the real man Jake is. So that's going to be, a, what a fantastic interview that was. This is followed by December 2nd, a member of Team 4 Star debuts on Icons of the Dragon Ball community. He's coming on Icons December 2nd, Friday, December 2nd. I've worked with him on several videos recently, but now we're going to talk about the man himself, Masako X, otherwise known as Lawrence, the voice of Goku from Team 4 Star. He also has his own YouTube channel. We're going to talk about growing up in the UK, watching Dragon Ball, how he became a editor because it was family lineage. His grandfather was an editor and how he wound up basically becoming a big shot in Team Four Star. And it's just a f another fantastic interview. I cannot wait for you guys to hear the story of Masako X and how he went from just a kid growing up, loving cartoons, going to college and eventually becoming a big, big part of what is without a doubt the biggest Dragon Ball YouTube channel in the English speaking world, Team Four Star. So much great stuff to talk about with Masako X December 2nd. Then the other co-headliner December 9th folks. I got another voice actor directly from Funimation but not just from Funimation. He's also from well everywhere. The voice of Mr. Satan otherwise known as Hercule in the edited Dragon Ball Z English dub. That's right Chris Rager will be joining us. We're going to be talking about how he got the role of Hercule, Mr. Satan. We're going to be talking about how he got the role on Borderlands as Mr. Torg. We're going to be talking about him growing up, wanting to do improv. There's just so much great, so many great stories from this man who, once again, much like Chris Sabat and Brian Drummond, who have already been on my channel, this is now the third Funimation voice actor, voices that you heard when you were growing up as a kid, right here on Geekdom 101 talking to me put some respect on my name so again guys thank you as always for supporting geekdom 101 i hope you guys have a really great holiday and look forward to a lot of content from this channel there's a new star wars movie coming out i got some new series dropping this is going to be an incredible two months as we close out 2016 with a bang